Several people have asked me how to take these readings that are general for so many people and apply them to yourselves. First, I want you to know that if this reading was being done individually just for you, I'd be interpreting the cards to match what's going on in your life, the specific details of your life, instead of making them so general so that they can apply to a lot of people. For the general nature of these readings, the best way to know what of it applies to you is take the things that make sense to you. Any piece of this that really resonates with you, that's for you right now. And leave open the possibility that the other aspects of these readings will become apparent to you as to how they apply to your life at some other time. Maybe they're not for you this week. Maybe they're for you some other week. Or maybe they're for you as you move through the end of the week and some of the other things have already occurred. Remember, any time that you're getting a reading, any time that you're receiving insight from somebody else, take what makes sense to you and leave the rest and trust that if it truly does apply to you, you'll know that at a later time. Hi, I'm Laughing Woman, and I'm doing a reading here to see how we can best use the energies of the coming week. Okay, this week is all about manifestation. That's the very first card we've got over here. And what that tells me is that this is a week to plan on getting it done. Whatever your dreams are, whatever your visions are for this week, make sure that you tend to things and actually take action to see things happen. This is also a week to pay close attention to what you're doing scrutinize the things that you're doing and make sure that you're paying attention to the details. Those are very important this time around. Also, release things. Let go of what you no longer need. Let go of what you no longer want to hold. Any growth that you've completed, complete it. Consider it done. Stop trying to continue. This is a week to honor your own boundaries. Boundaries have come up a lot in the last several weeks. I've noticed that myself. So this is a time of year where we tend to be maybe a little bit more tired or a little bit more stressed out than normal. And so it's important to make sure that we're doing things in our own best interest as well as the best interest of the people around us. Don't overextend yourself. This is also a week toward the end of the week that's full of consciousness. This is a time where you have access to more of your own mind, more of your own thoughts, more of your own deep motivations, and maybe your own desires. Pay attention to those things and also be conscious in the way that you're interacting with other people. This is a time to be very mindful, be present to the moment. In summary for this week, this is about manifestation. That is the foundation energy of the week. So this is a week to get things done. Don't just think about it, do it. Pay attention to the details because those do matter. Make sure that you let go of the things that are no longer yours to carry. Things that you're truly done with. Pass them on to somebody else. Let them be. And take good care of yourself this week. Make sure that you're honoring your own boundaries. Make sure that you're honoring the boundaries of other people. Be conscious. Be aware. Be full of the present moment and fully present in that moment. Have yourself a wonderful week this week. <laughs>